Hello and welcome. The primary purpose of this video is to introduce you merely to the noise of a failed or failing upper bearing mount on a strut. So we're just going to get right into the noise. What you're looking at is the upper portion of the strut on the driver's side of a 2000 Chevy Venture minivan. This is the uh, pile of garbage minivan that we probably all have, which is the never going to put another dime into it van, and we always do. This video is not going to actually show the repair of this strut, as there's plenty of videos. However, it's primarily the sound of it and what some of this stuff looks like. So we're going to visit some different shots of different struts and uh, continue on. This is the driver's side, excuse me, this is the passenger side of the same van. This is again the upper strut mount. You can see it doesn't look great but it's totally serviceable. We'll go lock to lock. Everything's working out okay. This van was making that clunking noise on the um, driver's side for some time and I just kind of blew it off. Actually for a pretty long time I figured it was a sway bar and anti-sway bar and that uh, I'd just be okay and deal with it whenever. Again, this is the don't put another dime in it van and uh, here we all are. I was not able to recreate the clunking noise by taking the tires off because I had not weighted the suspension and I'll show you how what my setup was with respect to that. If I had caught this earlier before the upper mount had totally failed the repair would have been much less expensive. This is not a repair, uh, just merely replacing the upper mount is pretty inexpensive. Your mechanic is not going to do that because it's just kind of a silly repair where they'd rather just do both struts and uh, charge you for a bunch of parts and move along. So we'll uh, look at how we jack this up. We moved on to a shot of putting some weight on the suspension so that we can bind that spring up and see it uh, make the noise. This is, you're going to see the wood block advance into the lower ball joint, which is center of your screen. We are not jacking on the disc, we're jacking on the lower ball joint. And then we're going to put a little weight up in there so that uh, things can happen with that. We're going to move on to another shot of what this actually looks like from a larger um, viewpoint. It's going to have the new shock on it. That's okay. We'll look at that in a second. But um, again, I had not jacked this up like this before and I was not able to recreate that noise and just well, that must be the sway bar. So then we uh, move on. So here we are with the new shock. Well, this is a uh, lock to lock. Um, obviously both directions, new shock. Just thought I'd throw that in there just to uh, see what the shock is supposed to look like when it's in place and rotating through its full range of travel. We're going to come back to the original clip that we started with this with and again really the big point of this video was to introduce you to the sound of what that binding spring sounds like. Uh, a lot of people describe, you know, I'm having a suspension problem and it's a thunking or it's a clicking or a banging or whatever. Um, this is something that you can actually see if you look in to the tire with the tire mounted. You should be able to see that spring bouncing around. I don't suggest putting your hand on it to feel it. Maybe you could push a piece of board against it so that you can kind of sense the uh, binding on it or something like that. Interestingly enough, even in its horribly um, damaged state, this upper mount, I was able to spray it with silicone and it didn't it didn't clunk for um, some time if I kept up with the spray with it. If I had known early enough that it was the upper mount that was failing, I probably could have put some silicone spray up there and extended the life of that failing upper mount for some time. The upper mount, if I was to replace it by itself, was like $12 for the mount and then I would have needed to put it in and such. Um, as it is letting things go, I needed to do both shocks. That would be... and. Um, both shocks and an alignment and uh, the place that did the alignment needed to replace a, a tie rod end which I'm imagining that they broke for me which is pretty sweet um, 
Yeah, so that's that. Again, primarily the purpose of this video was to sort of introduce you to the noise and you know figure out how this fits in your situation. Your car may uh, very well be different from this 2000 Venture, but your struts may be very similar. So with that, I will wish you a good day.